Well, that's the end of that glorious field. And, uh, and I think I've got a bit of a climb. Oh no, I keep going along this, this uh, floor of the valley. But uh, through a field full of sheep, the looks of it, well not full, but you know what I mean. Just got to pass through this kissing gate. Now, I'm still new to this game of rambling, as some people call it. And I've, I've yet to learn about sheep. I think most of them will just ignore me. But I can see lambs. And I know that animals don't like their young being threatened. So if I start getting rammed, that I'm not going to be very happy. Oh yes, these are your typical Norwegian black-headed sheep from Norway. There's one. Some lambs there. A bunch of them <laughs> right across the path, taking shade from the sun. Sorry, I should say, taking shade from the tree. Uh, technically, I have to walk right through them. So, do I walk round and look like a coward? Or do I walk right through? Hmm. Hey up! Look at this little chappy. Hello! Just coming through. They're not very bothered. The lamb is there. Protective. Don't worry. I don't think I captured it, but there was one sheep there that stood up and looked like it was going to challenge me. I think because I'm holding the camera out, it's like, what is that? <coughs> you know, good for them. Her, her, it's a her. Don't have, there you go, I've walked through a flock of sheep now. I'd take that off my list. So that is where I've come from. And I'm just coming to the end of this stretch. Just sidestep in this group of trees here. You start to hear the sound of the, um, the wind turbines. There's one right there. Just amazing things. And they make, most, they make the most incredible noise. That's exactly what they sound like. So there's a little another kissing gate over here, or turnstile. And then I've got a feeling, by hook or by crook, I'm going to be forced to do a bit of climbing, but we'll see. And I think this is a good spot to have a little break. So I shall plunk myself down here. Have some water. Chill out. <sighs> there's no avoiding it. The leftovers from sheep are everywhere. But it's nice and quiet. There's no motorway here, which I like. <sighs> that was amazing going through that little valley. I've never done that before. I've got a long straight stretch ahead. I don't mean jail. It's a stretch of uh, trail, well-trodden, probably joggers, bikes. So 
we'll see. But until we face that, which is nearby, until we face that, I might as well just relax and have a spot of water. Back on the go now. Okay, <laughs> two people, well actually four people passed me while I was sat there. So it's getting quite busy now. I set off uh, about half past six this morning. So people are now up and enjoying the walk themselves. So just to go through this kissing gate here and continue, the path is pretty obvious. I don't think I need my book anymore. And again, the grass is, you notice how it's been cut, or the path has been cut. I guess this is for tractors as well, but uh, I can't help but feel a little bit that this is to help the walkers out too. Makes it nice and easy. So there she goes. Right, well, I'm now directly below some electrical cables. Just walking up top of this hill here, next to the wind turbines. I've never been this close to wind turbines before, of which there are three, six, only three spinning. Pretty amazing things. I think you'll agree. It's getting warm now. The sun's pretty much above the head. And I'm feeling it a little bit now. I think it's fair to say this is the, although it's just actually a small incline, you, you notice it straight away. Well, I do. You know, I'm not, I'm not too proud to say, you know, I'm not an athlete, <laughs> not yet, but I'm falling in love with wind turbines. Um, and uh, yeah, the sun is right up there now. Not a soul about. A couple of people have passed by. <sighs> Yet another field full of crops which are just starting to grow here. <sighs> <sighs> Gotta take a minute just to soak it in, give your memory something to latch on to. The sound of them that I love. Because although they're screaming out that they're not natural, the sound they make is completely natural. And a little break in the hedge here gives us an opportunity to see what's going on over here. More turbines. And looks like a wheat field. This is joining on now to the Yorkshire Wolds Way, which is a very long straight pathway. That was a very pleasant stretch of pathway there. So let's do this Yorkshire Wolds Way and let's see how interesting it is. My fear is that because it's a very long straight stretch, it will be very repetitive in terms of the views. I certainly hope these hedges are going to disappear so I can see the nice countryside. I think they will. But for now, it's hedges all the way. Still very nice. Right, we are exactly halfway of this trail. 
uh, which has actually turned out to be the access to the, the turbines, the wind turbines. But I'll just come in here and I'm noticing that it's, it's going to drop away down into the valley again. And I found this thing, which is a marker, uh, which the book says marks the high point, I guess the high point of the, whatever this is called, a hill. Interesting. But I'm intrigued to know what purpose they serve. What's the, why do you need to know that? Ordnance survey, maybe? <coughs> I don't know. It's a stupid question, right? Why they have markers in the countryside to a stupid question. Forget I ever asked. So this path is now dropping away, which means downhill, which means happy me. This is not as, oh, frankly boring as I thought it was going to be, because the, the track has sort of gone uphill and now it's going downhill back in towards North Newbold. I'm getting quite a view of the rolling hilltops on the other side of the valley, which is making it very worthwhile. I haven't seen another soul for some time, but I have been on here for 20 minutes now, taking my time, stopping every now and then, taking a look, enjoying the views because if I didn't enjoy it, because, that, because that's the whole point, the views. Uh, of the people I have seen, they've been sort of powering along, looking at their feet, chatting to each other, which of course you would do, because, you know, their purpose for this is different to mine. And they, they know it, you know. Once you've seen, you can live in very picturesque surroundings and be wowed by it for... Oh, I don't know. For a good few months. And then there will be that day when you get up and you go about your day and you realise you haven't once considered the amazingness of where you live. Because we just start to accept. We accept it. But that's not a criticism, that's just how, just how we are as people. I lived on the Royal Mile in Edinburgh for nearly a year. And that was, every morning was, it was, it was so bohemian. Every morning, going for the coffee or going for a paper or whatever. And then after a couple of weeks, it became an irritation because I stopped seeing the amazing surroundings and started seeing the tourists. And it changed my attitude somewhat. <laughs> Such a shame, really. We're coming back. Looks like the end of this trail, which if I just look back, whew, look at that. <clears throat> Quite a climb. Glad I came clockwise on this uh, trip. So, Let's see what's down here. It looks like the main road going back into Newbold. Cyclists just gone past. This isn't a road, it's a lane. So I'm quite happy to walk on this, although normally I wouldn't be too happy about walking on tarmac, but I don't think it's very long. Taking me back into the village, where I, where I will end my journey. And I've completed five and a half miles, which I'm quite pleased about because I'm feeling pretty good. My legs feel good. I don't feel very tired. I'm not out as of puff as I was when I first started doing these. 
So there's improvement, and that's a good thing. Well, just as I was settling into thinking this lane was going to be the rest of my journey, I checked the book and no, 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 no. I have to turn left here. I've only been on this lane for 200 yards, but I'm going left as instructed by the signpost over there, down this little lane. More hillage. This is a bridle way. Look at me, I'm so much of a pro now. Just goes to show if you take your eye off the book, the guidebook, you can easily go the wrong direction. <clears throat> So, just coming to the bottom of this track now, and uh, it looks like we're on another lane. I'm pretty sure I have to do a right turn here. I've been wanting to go that direction for some time. I feel like I'm at the bottom of the valley again. I think we should be going down there next. Another long road. The sign here. So South Cave, five and a half miles. So I'm glad to say I'm not going to be on this lane for long. 350 yards and then back onto the North York Wolds Way, which is a left turn. And there it is, there's the sign. And here's the left turn that I need to take. Oh. Jeez, oh, slippy, gravel, tiny steps, folks, tiny steps. I'll be all right, don't worry about me. There was a shortcut back there I could have taken. I thought, no, do stick to the book. Do as it says in the book. I might just regret that looking at this hill coming up. Oof. I have a feeling. I hope not though. Oh, I hope. I hope I'm going to cross that field and go into that wood. Because it'd be nice to get out of the sun. Oh lordy, look what we've stumbled into now. Goodness gracious me! Look at that! Oh, God. <laughs> so I have just um, checked the book and indeed we are going to go across this crop field here. Which is <laughs> new. Exciting. I have never walked through a field before like this. Well, we actually have permission to do it. It's fantastic. I'm quite intrigued to see what it's going to be like going into this wood here. Because getting out of the sun is something it kind of it appeals, I have to be honest with you. What a spot. So we've just come up there, having walked along that pathway, and then up on the far hill you can see the turbines, which is where we were about 45 minutes ago. And now we're here, about to go into a wood. Fantastic. The wood is cleverly disguising the fact that it is a climb. But let's just look back before we go in there at that view.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm here. I uh, want to thank you for watching it all the way through to the end. That is uh, appreciated. I'm really enjoying doing these films. If you want to know when I do another one or upload another one, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that you get a notification when it happens. Uh, I'm uploading a lot at the moment because uh, everyone's quite quiet work-wise. Um, I'm also on all the socials at Fluctibus Flood or just at Fluctibus. You'll find me. There's not many people call Fluctibus out there. Uh, and if you want to chat to me, you can on Facebook or you can write something down in the comments uh, if you've got any questions or if you want to educate me about things I'm getting wrong <laughs> in terms of my knowledge of the countryside. That would be definitely the place to to start that ball rolling <laughs> as i say i'm learning i'm no expert although i look like an expert it's weird anyway till next time bye bye